We're in Cincinnati, home of the Cincinnati Bengals at the Concrete Jungle. You know, people say this town is a real hellhole. <laughs> they couldn't be more right. You know, my Goober driver almost fell into this giant sinkhole on the way to the hotel. Hey, don't surprise me. One of Satan's favorite cities to hang in. Makes sense he's got his own highway to hell, right? Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The New York Threads battle. The Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cattle litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent on my ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and nine. First and ten. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about ten on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. Whenever a player gets big like this, he fumbles at bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. <laughs> Third down and three. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Second down and two. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Third down and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to... <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Wow, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. What you talking about? Third down and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> 
Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boot, and then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Touchdown! point attempt the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Third down and a pussy here. And he breaks. It's a touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Bring it back now. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And that'll be second down and four. 
Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline eight. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Third and four. First down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Second down and a lot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot eight. Caught for the first down. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. He just got crushed. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And the quarterback calls it, and he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a high cool. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Hey. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. down and the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat gotta keep them guessing and it's first and ten oh man the offense called a murder ball that's a little on the nose don't you think that's and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored nicely done Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Glenn. 
The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Can I remind you that painting of dead cardinal turkeys? Grandma holds on the top. The fifth they have to turn on the turkey. He's rolling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. The team might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, eight. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. Fermented anything really tastes good. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked, I'm out just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. I'm a house killer and shiver. I am a hell and I'll sell him. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Ah, Junior's having a flashback, man. What do we do? You Down him talk, so he out it comes up. I will. Ah. I will. Yeah, right. Ah. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Second down in a very lot. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? And that is called for a first down. <laughs> He heard 
footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. It's a close battle at the quarter end. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsanto Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Third and four. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but that's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get it. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a confer was at home. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. He's only It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. First down. And it's first and ten. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think the game warming down has got into the speed thing, Brad. He's running from his team. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. A 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He may want to try hurling those traps next time. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Holds him to a four yard pick up there. Second down and six. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and six. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Third down and nine. He runs it for three. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open. He refuses to go down. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Briggs. This is going to get ugly fast. for two points. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And 
and it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a... And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gord, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And a defender just got cut net. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. And that'll bring up second and one. They've called us half a time. Oh, welcome to Bubble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year.
And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, big it is. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. Man, look at him dance. <laughs> he can't help himself. I thought robots are supposed to feel emotions. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. First and ten. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Now the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of mutant, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. Third down and never gonna happen. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. If he had getting killed by a chainsaw before he completed his bucket list on his bucket list, <laughs> And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights.
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. What that? First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bunch. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. And it's first and ten. is good for about five yards. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that'll be their final timeout. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. And the kick is good. No. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Recovery by the kicking team. The Cincinnati Mangos lose on their home field. That's humiliating. I was raised on humiliation at home. Hey, it ain't so bad. Well, that explains a lot. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrophism. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.